This is an experiment that you can use when you're doing solids, liquids and gases. You need to think about the properties of liquids. So we're going to use density and try and float some liquids onto each other to find some really interesting results. Okay, so for this experiment, we've used household things that you can get hold of and household containers, because I know that in primary school, you don't have beakers and lamb equipment and things, do you? So we've got um, some oil, some water, and some ice cubes. And I've coloured the ice cube red so that the pupils can see it. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to do is to try and float one liquid on top of another. Properties of liquids, densities is what we're talking about. Yeah. Whether you choose to talk to the children about densities, that's entirely up to you. You know your pupils, you know their abilities. You may just want to give a bit of a wow factor, and that's fine. So I'm going to put a small amount of oil in this container. You can use, it wants to be clear, and it needs to be fairly tall, but you could use um, a glass tumbler or something like that. You could use a plastic one. I just yeah. happen to have this one, which is a really decent size. As long as it's clear, it should be okay. Yeah, it needs, yeah. Yeah, it needs to be clear. So I'm going to put about that much oil in. And if you add about the same amount of water, now we're putting the water in second. And I think I would say that, you know, just yeah. bring that out, that we're putting the water in second. What do you think is going to happen? Brilliant. It all bubbles up. And well. then as it begins to settle, if they were really little, you might have to point this out, the water's on the bottom, yeah. <laughs> you know. Obviously, if they're that bit older, then they're going to see this. You get all those little bubbles and things, but you get this amazing margin. Oil is less dense than water, it floats on top. Um, and young ones don't know that, and that's yeah. quite a surprise. We take it a step further, we've got an ice cube. So your question to them would be, where do you think it's going to float? They'll, they'll know that ice cubes float, and if you think about a drink or something, then normally it would float on top, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's see. So if you drop that ice cube in there, let's see what happens. If you have a look, can you see where the ice cube is actually floating? Yes, it's just uh, in the middle. Yeah, it's floating on the margin between the water and the oil. If you had a really little ice cube, it would float on top. So you need a, a decent size ice cube. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it will actually float on top of the water and seem to be halfway down because of the density of water and oil and the density of ice. Now, we can take this another step if we look at lots of different liquids that have got different viscosities and different densities. And you can set them a challenge to go off and find gloopy, runny liquids. And I've got one here. So in this jam jar, I've got some golden syrup, just ordinary golden syrup. Yeah. And we pour some oil on top. So we use the rest of that, can't we? Pour about that much oil on top of it. Tell me when to stop. That's it. Yeah, that's great. And now you can see that we've got this lovely gold colour down there and then a lighter yellow. The oil is floating on top of the syrup, which is what you'd expect because syrup's thick and gloopy. Yeah. But what would happen if you introduce water to this? That's what we're going to look at. And it follows on from what we just did before. So what we need to do is to um, have some water. I've got another empty cup. Yeah. But I think what we ought to do is colour it. So if you put some water in there, I've got some blue. Here we go. Lovely predicting here. Where's the water going to go? Where, where do they think? And you I can don't know ask what these. the kids will think. I don't know what they'll think, no. Let's have a look. So you pour it in, let it begin to settle, and you've got golden syrup, blue water. And oil on and top. Oil. Three distinct layers. Absolutely, yes. And I bet your kids could come up with lots and lots of layers if they yeah. went, went looking at different sorts of, of liquids. That would be a great experiment, actually. You could ask them to do that at home, yeah. because all of this is safe. Yeah. So there you go. Bit of fun, all about density. 